Previously on Dragon Quest Builders. It's always raining here, it's really depressing, but I've tried to brighten the place up a little bit. I decided to go with grass because look how bright our base looks compared to everywhere else. Ooh, witch grass seed. What the hell is this? I've never seen this type of grass seed before. Oh my god, you're so heavy. How much did you eat? <laughs> this guy seems to have some kind of bug attractor. <laughs> Quick, Ellie, put him in there. He's dying. He needs A&E. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. We are back at last. It's time to continue. We have just unlocked Garantius or something. He's got a funny name. He's not quite joined us yet. He's just standing there punching the air waiting to join. <laughs> He's really enthusiastic, I can tell. It's night time. Hopefully our little dude over here is actually going to be okay soon. I think he's he says he just needs to rest a bit. He's been resting for quite some time. Technically, we actually have three villagers, but I really want to see what the relationship between Ellie and Garantius is like because it seemed a little bit iffy. So I'm kind of a little bit worried about that. Let's see how this goes. Let's talk to our new villager and I really hope we unlock some new blocks or some new items to build that would be awesome okay here we go harumph so that's his little slogan thing isn't it harumph harumph <laughs> he's like an old grumpy old man so this is where you're setting up your little sanatorium is it multi do you really understand what you're getting yourself into oh my god he sounds like la roach fighting the blights will be much more painful than just giving into it but it seems your mind is made up. Yes, it is. I will join you and do what I can to research a cure for this disease. With your building powers and my herbalistic wisdom, we may just be able to put a stop to this plague. Oh, that's kind of positive. Come, builder. Let me teach you how to make a herbalist cauldron. Ooh, we will need one to prepare our remedies. Ooh, I'm going to be a witch. Learn how to brew tinctures. A bubbling basin used to brew medicines can be used to craft medicines and other items. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this can build. All right, let's talk to Ellie then. Let's see what she says. By the great shepherdess in the sky, you've guided Gerontius back to us. He has his doubts about waging war on the blights. I'm sure he must have grumbled something about the futility of trying to resist death. Yep, he did. Did he subject you to one of his long-winded philosophical lectures too? Not really that much. He's like that, I'm afraid. Please don't let it get to you. Okay. Gerontius is a herbalist with a rare knowledge of the causes and cures of illness. However, without the power to create, he could never make full use of that wisdom. Right. But you are the builder. With your powers of creation, the marvellous medicines he could only ever dream of can finally be given form. Multi, my lamb, our preparations are complete. Now we must all work together to defeat this ghastly disease. Okay, that sounds like a plan. We've got some white petals. So I'm guessing that this guy is going to be like a really grumpy... Like, aren't herbalists... Don't you think of herbalists like really weird people? They're normally like really weird people who like live in the woods, right? Maybe I'm just stereotyping a little bit there. <laughs> but that's what I always think of when I think of a herbalist living out in the wilderness because like he was like, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know if he was living out there, but he was definitely doing something. Right, so we need to make this herbalist cauldron. I'm really excited to see what we can make. I didn't actually look, see what we needed for it. I just made it. So it was like earth, clay and blue goo. And I actually have a ton of clay and earth. I've got so much of that actually. So we've got it. Yeah, let's put it down. I really want to see what we can make. We'll just plonk it there for a second. Healing cream and medicinal herbs. Wow. Yay. <laughs> I guess we have to learn stuff first. Multi, I take it you intend to find more suffering souls and bring them back to this town to be treated. You, Ellie and I must all work together to see each and every one of them restored to health. Ellie will do all she can to keep the patients comfortable, but you must be the one to craft the food and medicine they need to recover. As for my own role, that is what I want to speak to you about. I want you to build me a laboratory, young lady. <laughs> okay, if I had such a room, 
I could research cures and treatments much more effectively and perhaps even invent new medicines. Ooh, we're here, Multi. I've drawn you a plan of the kinds of workshop I want. Build it for me and Brimorda will be one step further along the road to recovery. All right, we got a blueprint. Let's do this. Let's get started on this right away. All right, let's take this down a minute. Let's put it in this corner here. Let's put it... It's kind of small, actually. I actually thought it would be bigger than this. Hmm, let's put it here next to my little ivy thing. Can we put it there? Not enough space. Why is there not enough space? What's wrong with the hat? Ah, okay, there? Is that okay? Okay, that's okay. He wants his big, massive pot in the middle. Bang, in the middle. <laughs> he wants a chest, a bonfire, some pots, and some other things. I probably should do the outside first, right? I should probably do the walls first. That would make more sense. I think he wants dirt. Obviously, everything is going to be made out of dirt for now. Yep, so we're going to build up the walls. Ah, oh, put it in the wrong place. So what am I like? Yep, let's do some building, guys. Yay! do some building building i like building building is so therapeutic and i just really i could get i get engrossed for hours like when i was building my golden temple i was building for hours and i forgot the time and i was like oh my god what's the time it was like really late like really stupidly late <laughs> it's so addicting it really is addicting all right we're going to build him this little house i wonder why he wanted it so small it's such a tiny little house it's gonna be so cramped in here but never mind, we got to start somewhere guys, we got to start with dirt walls and build our way upwards. Alright, so we need a door, we need to get a straw door, let's go and build one. It should have the supplies, yep, we can now build straw door, yay! I really want to unlock some more doorways because we only have wood and straw, it'd be nice if we had some like glass doorways or something, or some like a doorway with glass in, that would be really nice. Alright, let's see if we've got any of this stuff already, I might, I already have a bonfire. Okay, what else? I'm gonna have to build the other things. So the bonfire goes there, I think, and we need... Why has he got like a random dirt bit at the back here? He wants like a random dirt bit there. <laughs> That's so random. Okay, we need a table, a chest, and two pots. A table, a chest, and two pots. See if I can remember that. Table, a chair, and two pots. And a chest. He wanted a chest too. Let's build a chest. There we go. Two pots. So there's one and we need another one and then a table or was it a chair? I think it was a small table. Oh, we need some broken branches. So we'll have to get that in a second. So the chest goes here by the door. So that goes there. And then the two pots go at the back by that little random dirt bit, which I have no idea why that is there. So all we need is the table now. And then we have finally built him his own little laboratory out of dirt. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so we're going to need to get some broken branches should just be able to take some from these like random little bits of trees sticking out here. So let's just grab these, let's grab this as well, why not get loads? Yeah, we got loads! That'll do, that'll do. Let's go and turn this in. We haven't done a lot of exploring yet and that's basically just because I really want to progress in a little bit more on the story so we actually have more unlocks but I really do want to explore a bit later and we definitely will explore a bit later around this area because you never know what might be around here. So here we go, there's his laboratory, it's now done. herbalists workshop okay so residents will make medicine and put it in a chest awesome and it makes healing items 25 percent more effective that is awesome i like that here they all go running towards it yay they're all gonna start clapping woohoo <laughs> yay i love it when they do that it's so cool aha good work multi you've built a laboratory just for me yep just for you a vast number of diseases plague Rimorda, young lady. I doubt you've even seen half of them. We can't expect the same medicine to cure all these different diseases. This workshop will be invaluable to allowing us to develop new ones. Awesome. I'm counting on you, dude, to make me some different medicines. You know, Multi, I once had an apprentice, a man named Ilias? Ilias, or something. We worked together for many years trying to find a cure to the blight that eats away at this land. But without the power to create, our research ended in failure, and as for Ilias, well... In the end, I gave up all my research. I ceased to struggle against the blight. Don't give up, dude. Whether it is right to try to escape our fate, to cheat death itself, I do not know. But now that we have you, the Builder, and your powers of creation, I no longer believe that this goal is beyond our reach. 
Thank you again, Multi. Let us work together to create a cure to the plague that is killing this land. Okay, awesome. We've got some blue goo. I wonder if we can make anything else from the cauldron now. Come on, learn something. No, we have to do some more talking first. Oh, really? Why, Multi? That's wonderful news. What What news? What did I tell him? <laughs> What's that? You haven't said anything yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, sorry. How rude of me. I'm just so excited to finally have my own laboratory. I must have got a little carried away. So tell me what the good news is. But, 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 be that as it may, now that we have a workshop, we must get to work. I want to start researching a cure to this plague right away. Okay, I plan to start by reviving my precious research in antidotal herbs. So are we going to get poison? This is a cure for the poison, right? However, in order to gain a true insight into the virulent toxins so prevalent in this area. Wow, there's some very strange words there. Virulent and prevalent. <laughs> I will need to study the heart of darkness. Oh, where'd you get that from? This foul specimen can be recovered from the droll defiler. If you can defeat it, I challenged the beast many times, but was beaten back on every occasion. What the hell is a droll defiler? I've never even heard of that. And so, unable to obtain this crucial key, I was forced to abandon my research. Oh god, we've got to kill this thing, whatever it is. But you are young and strong, Multi. I'm sure it will pose you no such trouble. I'm not sure about that. Well, will you slay the droll defiler and recover the heart of darkness? I don't have much choice. <laughs> Use your compass wisely and you'll soon find the monster you seek. Now go, young lady. I'm depending on you. Oh my god, we have to destroy an evil monster. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, hello. Hello, there's Nosh. Oh, he's better. Hello. Woohoo, I'm back to my old self again. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, dude. I never knew the blight could actually be cured. Honestly, I was convinced that falling ill with the plague was a death sentence. When I got sick, I thought it was just a matter of time before I bit the dust. The thoughts that I might actually get better never crossed my mind. Heh heh heh, little did I know that a nun with the face of an angel and a builder with the face of a potato. <laughs> a face of a potato? Are you joking? Would nurse me back to help. What the hell is the nun doing, by the way? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> that looks so weird. You're brilliant, Multi. Both of you are. Is it okay if I stay here? I just know we're going to get along. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, and here, take this. It might not be much, but it's the least I can give you for saving my life. What are you giving me? A seed of life! Oh, that's more than enough. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah! 45 life. Okay, so is this a town? Yes, it is a town. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are they doing? What is he doing? What? Okay, whatever. Oh, hello, Multi. I was speaking with our former patient, Nosh. By the goddess's grace, he's feeling much better now. However, he mentioned that he knew another person who had fallen ill. Apparently, she's made a home for herself somewhere beyond the eastern plains. By the great goddess above, we cannot stand by while someone suffers alone like this. Please, Multi, would you go and look for her? So we've got another patient in need. When you find the patient, bring her back to the sick room and lay her down in one of the beds. You'll need to keep a close eye on her and ensure she gets any food or medicine she needs. Leave everything else to me. I will do all I can to nurse her back to health as quickly as possible. Okay, now Multi, follow your compass and seek out our next patient. Bring her back to the sick room, lay her down in a bed and give her everything she needs to make a full recovery. Okay, new quest marker, so now we have two quest markers. Why do I get the feeling that this next patient is going to be way more demanding than the first one? <laughs> Alright, so we are going to go and see if we can find something. I'm not quite sure which marker I'm going to. I'm literally just following a random one. So let's just go and see what happens, I guess. Let's keep going. Alright, we've made it across the poisonous swamp. Here we are. Let's see which one shall we follow. I think I'm gonna follow this one. I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm following it anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, this is the area where all the freaky looking trees. This makes it look like such a horrible land, doesn't it? Let's go over here then. Oh, I think I see something. I see a light in the distance. What could it be? I think this might be the lady we have to save because this is the area where I was farming bats. I've spent a lot of time here actually. And I'm pretty sure there was a person. Yep, it's the... Is it... A, I thought it was a girl. I thought they said it was a girl. Cough, cough, cough. 
my whole body is burning. I, I don't think I'm going to make it. P promise me you'll bury my body and write, here lays Casey on my gravestone. Okay, it is a girl. Okay, I'll just leave you there a second whilst I plunder this little area. I want all the stuff. <laughs> you'll be okay, just for a minute, okay? I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay. Ah, oh, I've run out of room. No, I'm going to have to come back here another time. All right, let's carry them. Come on. Oh, man, she really is poisoned. Oh, I can feel her taking damage. I wonder if it's, like, timed or something. Oh, you know what's the, the annoying thing? Is that you can't actually... Oh, no, there's an archer on us. Yeah, you can't actually just, like, use a chimera wing and just teleport back to base like usual. You actually have to carry them the entire way back through and until you get to your base because... You're carrying her, so that kind of sucks. So here we go, up here. Oh, we're gonna have to go through the swamp, or should we go all the way round? Let's go all the way round, because I don't want to take this poor lady through the swamp. She already looks like she's in pain, so I don't want to do that to her, just in case. So we're almost there, the base is just ahead. Come on, Casey, you can make it. We can do it. Another patient for A&E, Ellie. We're almost there. Almost there, girl. You can do it. You can make it. It'll be okay. I'll get you treatment. I'll give in to all your demands. I'm sure there'll be many. <laughs> Alright, let's put her in the bed. Here we go. Patients must be healed. Here you go. She wants boiled butter beans. Alright, I've actually got one on me. Here you go. Yum! Oh, she wants more. She wants more. She wants more. Okay, let's go and cook some. Hopefully I have some. I hope I have some. Do I have any? Yes, I can make some. Alright, I can make ten handfuls. Awesome, quick, let's go get us some of those beans. Just let me sleep. Okay, here you go, here you go. Uh, are you okay? Do you want more? Thank you, I feel a little bit better now. Oh, okay, I just need to rest for one more night. Please come and see me in the morning. Shall we rest? Let's. I want to see her nice and healthy. Let's sleep. Maybe she'll be okay. In the morning, please be okay, Casey. An antidotal herb? Oh no, we don't know how to make those yet. Ah, uh, I guess we have to go and do that quest first. That sucks. Okay, okay, we'll do that quest next time. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm really excited to see what kind of beast has this heart of darkness inside. That's going to be awesome. Whoa, what is he doing? Crazy man. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. Didn't even get to go.